morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we are not going to present you about the half truth of the heaven, but we are going to change your life and your mind as well. Okay. I am Bert, the study teacher. I am Jigsaw, the psychologist. And it's me, Mr. Root, uh, as a highway officer. Okay. Uh, before you, before we just start, let's take a look at this video first. Said by Max Wessler, Yeah. 
120,000 people die on these roads every year, making them the ninth most dangerous in the world. Can they get something back? A motorbike carrying two men was trash. One's injured his leg, the other may be more serious. He was wearing a helmet. So what's It's a worldwide problem. Um, can I ask anyone? Who ever got a motorcycle accident in this room? Yeah. Yes? Three of you? Those. <laughs> <laughs> and have you ever known uh, anyone that you, uh, that you know uh, ever died by the motorcycle accident? Uh, who is that one? Uh, my best friend. Okay. Your best friend? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Uh, uh, a good friend of mine. Good friend. And? Mike Kelsey. Good Kelsey. Sorry to hear that. Please sit, please. Um, unsurprisingly, uh, can you re remember the, uh, the large number of the motorcycle in, in Thailand? 20 million. 20 million. Um, this is the accident statistic in Thailand. This is the number of fatalities from the road accident in last year. Can you see? It's increased every every month. And uh, to the uh, let's take uh, a look at the right one. Uh, it's separate by the vehicle type. Can you see the orange one? It is a motorcycle. Meanwhile, the car is just has a 20 percent. Uh, it means that uh, Thai, most of the accident, road accident in Thailand caused by motorcycle. And who, who, who got the motorcycle accident? Who the mo mostly got it? Is this them? You can hear it. Is it them? They stay at home, cooking some food, some dinner for you. And is it then the babies? No. Uh, they can really ride the bicycle. But let's take a look at the hardest one and the following one. Um, the number below it, 15 to 24. Um, what does it mean? What does the age range mean? If you use that, you guys, you guys, it's an age range that, uh, that uh, mo most die on the uh, motorcycle accident. And can I ask for a volunteer? Just can you guys, three boys, stand up? Just stand up. And one girl, maybe one girl. And you stand up. Just three, three. Just stand up. And I'm not, not going to curse you, but uh, these four people that stand up represent to the dead rate in Thailand. Three boys is a uh, 76 percent, and one girl is a 73 percent that represent the dead rate in uh, Sydney. I'm not going to face it. Sorry about that. Uh, what if, what if you guys didn't die? What if you're going to be a vegetable? <laughs> Can you do Because someone in the seventy people in a uh, motorcycle accident will be miserable for life. You will spend your life on the beach. You not, 
can do nothing. And every problem has the causes. And what is the causes? Is it right? Now, since there are big, big numbers of uh, motorcycle accidents and even during the causes of this, we, I, today, I'm going to break it down to you. What are the reasons? Why is there so many bicycle, motorcycle accidents on Thailand road? We just think about that. 85, the number 85. What does this number remind you of? What do you think of this number? It is a lot if you compare it to 100. And you know what this and you know what this 85 means? This is the percentage of the motorcycle accident compared to all kinds of vehicle accidents in Thailand. And 80%, or perhaps should I say most of the motorcycle accidents and deaths are related to cars that cut in in front of them. Now, what do you see? What do you see from this video? That's tra there's a tragedy that's, have, that's going on in this video. Pe people hurt, people die. But take a look at another view. You, as a driver, do you think those drivers, what, what do you think of those drivers? They're bad drivers. Yeah. When do you see them? And where? Where do you see these kind of drivers? The bad drivers, the bad ones. Where do you normally see them? Where? Where? Anywhere. Anywhere, right. Because these bad drivers, they are everywhere. And you know what they do? You know what they do? drives into people, they crash into you, 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 you and you. They are they are out there trying to get your ass obliterated. And you know why and and did, did you think that when they when there are accidents that caused by a bad driver, did you think that they mean to drive into you, to crash into you? Do you think they need this? No. No? What do you what do you understand? Do they mean it? Uh, they are being negative. They they don't care. What about you, Mr. Sir? Do they uh, do they mean it when they drive into people? No? No. I want I want to tell you that no, that is wrong. That is totally wrong. Because they mean it. Ah. Because the way that they drive recklessly, 
and they're being careful about the other people who are on the road as well. Because why? Because they're idiots, a bunch of people. And now we come back to the statistic. We heard that most group of Asians has been, you know, been a victim of the motorcycle accidents. They're, they're men, especially you young men. I mean, some of the girls, but, you know, especially the young men. And I'm going to tell you why. Why is this has to be the men? Okay, there, there are many factors. There are many things that could support the reason why the males are the biggest target group of the motorcycle accidents. Being, oh, being confident is just fine. In fact, it is indeed a good thing that you have to use having yourself. It, it is very good to have a confidence. But you know what they said? Having something is much better. Bad thing. Being overconfident is, you know, especially on the on the road, it's going to cause you trouble. And okay, this is a you know, this is a feature. What do you see in these features? What what do you guys see in this feature? Is it What do you see? You see high school students? You see what? What, what do you see? Out of life. Out of life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're wearing helmet, which is nice, okay. But what I'm trying to say here is that these kids, they have, they have, they got a really nice ride wearing a helmet. Everything is totally fine. Until they think that they think that they are good drivers. Well, they think that they okay, I'm I'm a good driver. I am the racer, I am the champion. Why? Because they think they got a really nice bike and they're wearing helmet. They start to get a, they start to get a little cocky and think that, hey, you know what, I'ma ride like a champ today. I'ma hit them down the road doing 180 miles per hour. Yeah. And that's what they all think. But you know, in reality, I mean, if you wanted to ride a, mo a, a big, mo a big motorcycle, that's just fine. That's that's totally okay. Uh, because uh, when you wanted to ride a big, a big bike or a big motorcycle, you always go full, full protection on yourself, right? And I want to ask you guys a question. What do you think the Thai people think of these kids? What do you think they, they think of them? They think this is dangerous. They think this is not okay for a 15-year-old kid who got a, yeah, who got this, you know, the, the demon that they were riding on. And they, and they, and those people, they believe that this is the major cause of all road accidents. But those who ride, but those who ride a big bike or a big motorcycle, that is okay, because like I said, they know how to protect themselves. But now back to the reality, it is them, those who are blaming the big bikers. It's only them sharing the exact same idea that they think that they're a sham as well. They know, they always wanted to hit the speed, but you know. In the reality, they're only hopping on the scoopy or the handle wave, rushing through the traffic without no helmet.
okay? As you can all see, they were driving, th th these boys or these men, they were also driving with recklessness because they were all they're being overconfident. Now, the social norms of teenage boys. When you were in your high school, have you ever, pre have you ever been pressured by your friends to be ridiculous things? Yes. Or, is there anything that related to speed or riding motorcycles? Speed is right. Yes. Maximum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, guess what? That is what all the boys do. They think. Since they think they are being, uh, they're being very overconfident, and they think that okay, we are going to create something. We're going to create a norm that people are cultivating by, you know doing some kind of stupid practice just to be a part of a group. If they are going to, if they are going to attend a, a mode of drag race in a school, so we, they always want to do it. Because they're boy and they're reckless, and they're young, and also unwise. Now, I'm going to talk about you know the in uh, the internal factors that have drive you guys to do these kinds of actions. You know, having full confidence and being uh, and being a, a, a really dumb voice. Uh, and that is the hormone testosterone. Okay, I wanted to ask you something. Um, is there any of you guys who have fear? Do you do you guys fear of anything? Okay, so what do you fear of the most? What what do you fear most? Butterfly. You fear butterfly? Yes. Nah, no, you're joking. No. You're scared of death. How about you? What am I scared of? Yes. Uh, <laughs> my, my, my children getting hurt, my family getting hurt. Aww. That's a really nice because he is a wise old guy. But to you guys, since most of the answer is going to be yourself getting hurt and eventually dead, so I assume that you guys are scared of death at this stage, right? So um, let me tell you, uh, okay, let me show you one thing. Okay, if you said that you're scared of death, and there is a man running to trying to kill you, running after you, and you were confronting him. Will you fight him? Will you fight back to survive? Yeah. I'm sorry. What about you? If there's someone trying to kill you and then you got to fight back, will you, will you fight back? I will fight back of course. You will fight back. The feelings and the thoughts of vengeance will come in to take place inside of your mind. It's going and it's going to drive you, it's going to empower you to overcome your fears. And that's how most people are survive, right? And uh, that is what the hormone testosterone is do. It does things like this, it does the wonder. As you're a group of age, you're, uh, you guys are hitting, you know, age 20, your body is becoming, you know, the, the main sort of the main generator of your of this kind of hormone, you know? It could it could completely drive you out. It makes your blood pressure go high, it makes your you know your muscles pumping up. You go crazy. It makes you feel stronger. Uh, has anybody who are working out and by any chance, you know, does someone working out and you work out and you work out? You, how does it feel? How does it feel when you, you know you you wanted to do a, a deadlift and, and after you did that, how do you feel? You feel you feel like you're on top of the world, and that's it. That is what the testosterone do to you, and it could completely change a man and challenge them to become their uh, to to overcome their fears, and they start to do things like this.
that drives you, that push you, it push you to just, you know, you're doing normal skiing, absolutely not. You just got to go and jump off the ramp and, you know, <laughs> jump, you know jump over the helicopter, like it's nothing. And that's the power of the testosterone. So now, I'm, and now it's gonna be the reason why do people don't wear it. But what is the real reason why they die? Because they didn't wear a helmet, right? So do you think why people don't want to wear a helmet? What is the real reason? What do you think? It's ruined my hair. It's ruined your hair. It's a yeah. short distance. You're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> what? Laziness. Laziness. Yes. Yeah, but don't you think that it is just those are just excuse, excuse of oh I'm lazy, or you didn't realize that oh it is that important. I just wanted like riding around like my neighborhood and just chilling, or somebody say that oh I'm not gonna wear the helmet because. It's just short this tasking. You think that, oh, I'm, I'm so hungry today. I want to grab some food at 7-Eleven. It's very near my home. It's not far away. But what's going to happen? And what could be happen? Let's say accident can happen anytime. So even you just drive riding to 7-Eleven, but you might be die. Right? And have you ever thought that, oh, I'm just riding like in the small road, so it's not gonna happen. I used to the way that I'm always riding to my door, my home. Have you ever been that? Yes. yes. Many people think that it's just small road, I'm used to it. But what can be happen if you're just driving in the small road? Okay. 
Oh, wait. Then you take it off. Oh, 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 yeah. And then you take it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what she can do is she do like this. Do it's not going to mess your hair that much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just very little. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and some bodies, some guys might think, oh, I'm not going to wear a helmet that often. Because what? It's going to cause my hair loss. I can be bald. But I was searching for you guys. Um, um, wearing a helmet just 5 or 30 minutes is not going to cause your hair loss. So continue wearing it. And for those who think that, oh, I'm not going to wear it because it's hot. It's going to make me sweaty. So you better drive a car in street, or if you don't have a car, you better using a shuttle bus that university provides for you. Yes. And next one. And uh, the next excuse is, I don't want to carry it all with me. No problem. You just put it under your motorcycle seat. But this is the place that it's supposed to be. No, while you're riding a motorcycle. No, it's supposed to be on your head. It's how it works is protect your hand from the concussion. Not you protect it on your cabinet. It's it makes it useless. And the next excuse is the police won't arrest me. And you just wear a helmet uh, because of your scare of the police. It's just what a joke. And uh, the most stupid reason is I don't have a helmet. When you buy a motorcycle, you will uh, they will get you a free helmet. And if you uh, don't have it, really. You just come to the store, to the shop, and buy it. It's just a thousand baht or lower, maybe lower. For your life, it's not that expensive. And someone may say that the risk is low. No, not the risk. The, what is low is your IQ. Your IQ is low. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't wear a helmet. And the risk is everywhere. On the road, on the street, everywhere and but uh, those things are the excuse but the real reason is you just challenge and being lazy and can I ask you guys in your perception what does the word accident mean accident so something just happened unexpectedly yeah uh, another answer? Surprise. 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 Yeah. Like this video. You don't even know when it's gonna happen to you. Um, uh, only time can tell when the accident comes through. And maybe you are the lucky one that get it. The accident like that uh, in the air, waiting for someone, the lucky one, who got it. And don't let your carelessness or don't let your laziness cause you to die like this.
being a piece of vegetable. Huh? So yeah, you're implying that it could cause you a disability. Yes, you are right. You're damn right. Be disabled. It's the worst thing that could possibly ever happen to you. You're not wearing a helmet and there's an accident. Imagine. Yeah. You go up, you're going down, you, yeah, you were journeying down the road, then there, there's an accident happened to you. Apparently, you survived. Yay! You got to live. Ha ha, I got to live, you know. But, is, live, is the life like this? Is, is this what you want? Do you want this to happen? Yeah. Because you know that being disabled is going to cause you a lot more suffering. You're going to stay like that for the rest of your life. Yeah, you are alive, but guess what? You can't live a life. You can't live a normal life like you used to. You can't be happy because you are laying on a, on a bed, relying on a, a life support and sedatives to relieve you from all the pain. And that's tragic. Now, um, for those who ride a motorcycle and not very helmet, obviously the, the, the very first relevance and injury is going to be a head injury, or what we call the concussion. It could happen to you when, the, you hit, when, your, when your head is hitting by something or it has been hit onto something really hard, and it causes you a brain damage, a skull factor and many more. Okay. Yeah. And now, I've got a, I got a friend of mine. He's my colleague. And his name was, uh, and, and his name is Mr. Otto. And he's one of the, and he's one of the nicest guys ever. Uh, I've been noticing, why would he always wear where these where the you know these pairs of gloves every time he ride a motorcycle. Can you guys give me why? Why is he wearing that? Because I told him. The gloves when he ride him, when he was riding a motorcycle. He has given me the answer. He replies he replies that okay, you know, since if there if there is going to be an accident happen, right? And when I fall off my bike, the very first two things that are going to hit the ground is either my head, my own head, or both of my hands. So he said, you know what, I wanted to protect my hand, you know, from the scratching on the road, so, it, so, it does, so they both don't hurt. And, you know, since our hand is full of neurons and everything, it's just going to cause you a lot of pain. But who's but uh, who's is not wearing a helmet today? Raise your hand. I'm up in the sky. <laughs> I want to. I, I want to see this. Thank you. Who do you think you are? Who do you guys think you are? You're not wearing a helmet. He's he's wearing these gloves just to take his lovely hands. Be below his head. But okay. It is you guys not wearing a helmet. Your, your life is over. The game is over for you. If there's an accident and you get a concussion, you're gone. And by the way, ladies, what is up with these mask wearing things? Are you still in the, in the are you still in that space? You, you two, behind the back. Why are you still wearing that? Just give me the answer. <laughs> you, you guys still, you, you guys still, still scared of shit of uh, COVID? The deadly disease that has been pronounced undeadly since the last year. Yeah. You guys still scared of that? Yeah. Yeah. There's the media I know, we, and we all know for a fact, right? But. 
you guys decided just to wear a mask going, going down the road like that and not the helmet. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? What, what are you guys doing? You should be concerned more. You should, whether it's going to be, you know, I'm just gonna wear a mask and go down and I just don't care. And then just learn to protect yourself by wearing a helmet. You guys are choosing, you know, I don't wanna say it is the wrong thing to do, but because it's up to you. But imagine, this, this little egg, it is your head. You are teeny, you know, your pretty faces and your, you know, your super thin and fragile head is this egg. And you, and you, you, you're running down the road. You just wear the mask. It goes like this. Your head and the mask goes like this. And you know, you, yeah, you're going down the traffic, right? And there, suddenly, out of nowhere, there's a bad driver came in, cut, you know, cut in front of you. And you know what happened? Oh! 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 That's what happened to you. Your head and your face is going to end up like this egg. You don't want that to you. Protein, bro. <laughs> yes, since it is an accident, you guys are going to end up lying down on the road, brain dead. Your, your head is bleeding out. Like, Jesus Christ, how, is it, how are you going to survive? And if you're not that lucky, your brain is gonna, you know, splatter out of your skull. Just like that, eh? You know, you see the yolk splitting, you know, splatting everywhere? That's your brain. And this is not the picture of, and this is not a picture of love. This is someone's brain that went into the bush. I'm not messing around. And if you're lucky enough, if you're survived, you're going through the doctor procedures. You're gonna end up like this. Yeah, you know, half of your head is gone, but you know what, lucky? You guys still survive, but you're gonna look just like that. But, that, but this is the lucky thing. But in case that you're not, not that lucky, you're gonna turn into this. <laughs> You will be disabled while as well your brain is gone and you're just gonna be there. You're lying down there on the bed like a fish away, like a fish on a cut book, waiting for the last moment. But, but what if you choose to wear a helmet and not this stupid mask? Well, let's see. Um. What happened? What do you think that happened to the man who who's his head getting crushed under the wheel? Do you think he's alive? What do you think? It's like crushing by a Yeah, you're being crushed by a wheel of a car. Obviously. It's like strawberry. Yeah. Obviously, this guy is pretty much dead. He's dead meat, right? No, he's not. Apparently, the helmet has saved him from the, yeah, from the pressure and from the weight of the car. And he's still fully, he's still alive, fully, you know, conscious, with his full conscious talking and trying to tell the whole story to the officer and of what's going on. 
the only thing that happened to him is just, you know, some blood stain and some scars and maybe, you know, uh, a little scratch. Those are just the physical injuries. You heard me, Mr. Okay. This is some, that, that is the thing that's only happened to you. And it is fine because, you know, you have a broken limb. It is way much better than, you know, have a half of a brain.
to not doing things that gonna make them disappoint. But at that day, I'm feeling old. I saw my mom crying. But what if I am not wearing helmet, guy? What's gonna happen? I might be die, or I'm gonna get something that very severely. What if I'm die? I'm not gonna stand here today, talking to you, met you, met my lovely friend, my best friend, teachers. No. I miss everything in my life. I cannot do anything because I die. I cannot even follow my dream, which is flight attendant, since I was dream about um, since I was a kid. Yeah, I cannot follow my dream. I cannot travel to the dream place that I dream about. Maryland, okay. I cannot be married with someone that I love since, you know, it's just the dream, the dream that the girls think about. And the most important thing is, I cannot even see them forever because I am die. I'm not gonna like to these pictures, these two pictures, the best moment in my life I feel very, very, I was very happy that time, so I took it and keep it as a memory. My dad visit, visit, was visiting me, like, in my dorm, and this is, we visit um, my grandmother's hometown, so it was very happy, so I took a picture of them. But if I die, two of this picture not going to happen. I cannot graduate. I cannot be successful in my life. And as a 20 years old, I'm 20 now. This is what I am waiting for for a long time because my mom was a very strict person. So I cannot go, you know, hang out with my friends. But if I am 20, I think, okay, I'm now grown up. So my mom don't care about, about me, I grow up. And I'm not gonna hurt she say that. Oh, you're 20? You're growing very well, I'm proud of you. I, I know that you can do it. And I'm not gonna hurt my mom say the deeply thought of her. What my mom wants to see me. But what about you guys? What's your parents expect from you? And you really want to prove it to them, to show them, and to see them like standing here and see your success. I will give you a paper and you write down one thing that 
solution can solve the problem like this one the solution that don't work and first is wearing a helmet unfortunately it's a bad helmet or low quality helmet uh, like like this picture it's not even the helmet and if you wear it it's gonna get you more more hurt and next one helmet fine and penalty uh, as you guys know Thailand is a land of compromise and the law of Thailand exists, has been exist for a long time, like other countries. But nobody, nobody is scared of being killed on the road. Why? Because it, because if we Thailand law of uh, road law is weak. And what if you get caught by the police and uh, without wearing a helmet by your riding a motorcycle? Just pay fine for a of 500 bucks. 
And what if you done it again? Just pay it again. You reach now. Nobody can. Next, education campaigns. Uh, you guys, have you ever joined this campaign in your high school? Yes. Yes? And what uh, bring you joy this campaign? You interested in this campaign or teacher give you a score? They force you to do that. Yes. Uh, the, the teacher forced students to join this campaign. And what happened next? No one no one focused in the content. No one focused in what they have done. And it's useless. Not that useless. And and government support. And this sign is in KKU, Concan University. Our university. Around the university. And this video. This video, this accident happened in our university. What does it mean? Useless. The government support, this, this sign around the KKU, useless. Nobody cares about it. There are uh, accidents every day, has an accident every day in Hongkong University. Useless. Don't work. And next one. What is the tone of the advertisement? It's funny. It's funny, right? Because Thai people like to see the thing. That's funny. But this is the weak point of this advertisement. They insert the funniest in the ads. And yeah, it's true that this ad can reach many of Thai people. And what happened next? Their focus just as funny, funniest in this video. And uh, is it useful? Are you guys aware to wearing a helmet or aware of this content after you see it for just two hours or one day? Or just 10 minutes before about it. About the content. Remember that this is funny. Is considered that it's useless and never work. And what about the solution that works? What is the best solution that works? Wearing a helmet. Yes, that's it. Just wear the helmet. It will save your life, protect your hand, and save your life. Just wear it. Choose the high quality.
don't forget to wear for yourself and don't forget to wear for the other one. So tell them, wear it to them. It's not only going to save you, but it's save other people's lives as well. Your family, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your dog, and, and in the future, maybe with your children. Continue your journey, living a life, going down and going down the journey of a life. It's not that hard, yeah, as long as you know how to protect yourself very well. And the point of that is to, you know. Protect and the, the point from protecting yourself is to yeah continue your journey, pursuing your dream job, you know having a lot of money if you wanted to, you know going down your own road, having a nice house, living your dreams. But none of this, none of these things will ever happen to you. If you decide not to wear a helmet, and I hope and I pray that this doesn't happen to you, you don't end up like this. I don't want you to end up like this. Uh, your loved one also. So how? Yeah, so how are you going to protect yourself? Just wear a helmet, please. For your own good. Okay, everyone, let's make your decision. You want to uh, stay alive and follow your dreams, spending your time with your loved one, or want to spend your life on the wheelchair, do nothing like a vegetable, or end up like this. To make it easy, everyone. Can you uh, put your right hand like you? No, lower, lower. And swear to your God, Jesus or Buddha. Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on your religion. And repeat after me. I, I, I Father, I, I, I will, 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 will always, always, always wear, wear a helmet, helmet every time. Every time. I, I, I Ride the motorcycle. Ride the motorcycle. Okay. Give yeah. your words, guys. Give yeah. your word. And you promise me. And promise to Ajahn Blair and everyone. <laughs> and good luck, everyone. Thank you for your attention.